Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report. Today we're on the set of ABC's Mistresses, where we're getting an insider's look into season four. All right, well, I want to know what it's like for you guys to be back in L.A. Does it feel different on the set? Um, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say it feels different. We we were here for three years. Oh, was it two? We were here for two years prior. And, you know, L.A. is, is wonderful. It's so comfortable here, I think. Vancouver was lovely, but it's good to be back. It feels like it's more home. What, what do you think? Well, you weren't here. Well, um, yes, I was not here uh, when the show was filming here. But now I am. It feels like home, right? Yeah! Uh, yeah, it feels like home. It's great. I miss Vancouver, though, a little bit. I do. Had some really good restaurants. and As a cast, I think we bonded a little bit more in Vancouver because we were all together and we only had each other. You know, here we have our own friends and family, and but it's, it's all good. Yeah, after the end of the work day, you kind of go your separate ways. It's okay. Exactly. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> well, I watched the season premiere, and lots going on with your characters. How do you, is that going to play out? Because it seems, it seems very smooth in the first episode. Smooth like butter. Uh, yeah, yeah. I actually don't know what's to come. Um, well, I know like what, what we've filmed so far. Any so. teasers that um, you can give? Any bumps in the road? I can tease you. I can tease you. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's life. It's life. We experience some life stuff. Um, mm, he doesn't want to say back it. to you. you know, back to me? Hmm, let's see. It's definitely smoother this season, I think, for April. It's, there's not as much, she's not as much of a victim as she has been in the past. Um, but there's a lot more to come with my daughter than before. She's getting older. She's a full-blown teenager. And we are dealing with some serious issues. We're actually filming right now one of the uh, adult type of conversations with her. But there's some stuff between the two of us. Um, <laughs> are we together are we not together we are together but I don't know we're kind of in this state of bickering as couples are sometimes you can't be happy you just can't be happy because it's the end of the season the series right if, if it's just like happily ever after so we're definitely bringing in some more drama and conflict and other women oh well put nice are, are we, we're bringing the mistresses back to mistresses maybe exactly I, I like that. And it's not to be missed. <laughs> yeah, because it's funny because we went, we went away a little bit from the mistress's theme. and we did. We did. We're I think we're kind of back to the, the, the idea of the show from the beginning, you know, definitely. Rochelle, I'd love to know from you because, you know, uh, playing a, a single mom on screen, you know, brings its own, oh, yeah, just go right ahead. <laughs> it brings its own set of, you know, challenges and I think of responsibilities because so many women work in the home, work out of the home, are trying to provide for their kids and, and really be role models. Do you feel that responsibility? Um, as uh, April? As April, as April yeah, absolutely. bringing the best out of her. Absolutely. I, Rochelle, feels the responsibility of owning this character and knowing that she is a mother, she is a friend, she is a girlfriend. There's so many levels, so many layers to her. And I think it's important that she is a good role model for Lucy. Um, she tries not to bring home the men, but sometimes it happens, and she recognizes that. Mark is a good person, a great kind of role model for Lucy, and she definitely took that into consideration when they started dating. She puts her daughter first, for sure. That's good. I know, because with all those challenges, we were left with kind of the teaser at the end of the first episode. So oh, we do right. see those troubled waters coming, and yeah. I was like, ah, to be a teen in 2016, oh. it's not easy. I have no idea what that's like. <laughs> None of us do, but you know what? In some ways, I'm like, it was just so much simpler without the technology and everything else getting us in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then again, our parents are the same thing. Oh, it was so much easier when we were kids or whatever. I don't know. Each generation has their own problems. Absolutely. Well, one final question. Uh, I kind of want to know, um, it, can you sum up each of you, your character, in three words? What comes to mind? Well, you speak so much more articulate than me. I kind of enjoy listening to you speak. Uh, three words uh, in summary. Um, dedicated, fun, cool. 
Yeah. He's in a band. He's yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. There's some music. So. I like that. He's got to be cool. Yeah. How about for you, Rochelle? How about you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Three words. Um, loyal. Neurotic. <laughs> and um, um, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't you. get any better than that well so great chatting with you both and you it's nice well. to see you guys thank back you. here in los angeles shooting yeah it's fantastic very fortunate thank you. thank you thank you thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe like this video and leave us a comment below what's your favorite storyline this season on mistresses